Uh, Shalom. Let's give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh of Israel. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. And I say Shalom. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel. And once again, uh, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. Through the, through the uh, spirit, power, grace, and mercy of uh, Yahweh of Israel. And it's a sit down lesson of uh, the title of the lesson is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, uh, verse 1 and through verse 8. And it says, A time for everything. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. It reads, To everything there is a season and a time of every purpose under the heaven. Right, so you can relate this into modern day times, just like in uh, ancient times, because there's no new thing under the sun, just like it says in Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 9, you know, because we're seeing the uh, signs, you know, the Heavenly Father told us to uh, measure the time diligently in itself, you know, as us being a watchman unto the house of Israel, just like the prophets of old did, prophesy against great countries, great kingdoms of war, evil, and the pestilence. And that's taking place just like in ancient times, now modern day times, you know, time for everything, you know, so the modern day times and seasons and every purpose under the heaven, just like it did in ancient times, now in modern day times, it's transpiring in modern day times as well, too. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, it says, uh, to everything there is a season and a time of every purpose under the heaven. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 2, and it reads, and a time to be born, right? So we are in the time to be born again, coming back to us who we being our Yahshua Allah, he is the prince of power, coming back to being, you know, the sisters, the daughters of Zion, us coming back to being the most highs, uh, Yahweh of Israel's, uh, his uh, people, as us being the Israelites, you know, so we're being born again through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh of Israel through this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh of Israel, you know. It says a time to be born and a time to D.I.E. We're living that time as well, too. And a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Ecclesiastes 3 and 3, and it reads, and a time to K-I-L-L, and a time to heal, and a time to break down. So we are in the time of uh, healing, of coming back to being Yahshua Allah. He is the Prince of Power and the uh, daughters of Zion. You know, you know the uh, the elders were Akim or Akwaf. You know, we are in the increasing healing process of us coming back to being the children of Israel in the sight of the heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel. You know, and they time to break down. So we are in the time of Babylon is slowly, increasingly uh, breaking down through the spirit, progress, and mercy of Yahweh of Israel, and through the words of Yahweh of Israel. And the powerful words of Yahweh of Israel is uh, breaking down Babylon. And we're seeing that increasingly right in front of our eyes now, so more than ever. And in time to build up, right? Israelites is being brought up, being built up in the latter days of us coming back into who we are and bringing us back into remembrance. You know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, is bringing us back into remembrance, you know. While Babylon is being broken down, you know, Israelites is being risen back up of us coming back into being this truth. Just like it says in John 8 and 32, and ye shall know the truth. And ye, uh, Salakia, uh, John 8 and 32. It says, uh, and ye shall, what's that again, Salakia? Right, ye shall know the truth. But, um, uh, go to verse 5. So, uh, Salakia for that, Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 5. It says, and they time to cast away stones, and they time to, it says, uh, and they time to cast away stones, and they time to gather stones together, and they time to embrace, and they time refrain from embracing, right? So we are uh, refra reframing, we are embracing of uh, coming back to being Yahshua Ali. He is a pinch of power right along with Aqua sisters as well, two of the daughters of Zion, while Aqua, you know, you know, uh, Aki and Wa'akwaf, you know, coming back to being uh, Yashar Allah, he is Prince of Power, you know, so it's not going to be a, a easy process, so we are in the increasing 
processing increasing stages in the modern day times of us coming back to being Yasha Ali as a prince of power, coming back to being the sons and daughters of the Most High God, Yahweh of Israel, you know. It says, in a time to cast away stones, in a time to gather stones together, in a time to embrace. So we are embracing, coming back to being Yasha Ali as a prince of power, the daughters of Zion, the children of the Most High, the sons and daughters of the Most High, Yahweh of Israel. It says, in a time, refrain from embracing, right? We are reframing from the ways of uh, Babylon, from the ways of this world. That's why I say in 1 John 2 and verse 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him, you know? Because, you know, everything, everything is a, a righteous balance in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 6 and it reads, And a time to get, and a time to lose, and a time to keep, and a time to cast away. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 7, and it reads, And a time to win, and a time to sow, and a time to keep silent, and a time to speak. Right, so us being the servants and prophets and a mouthpiece and representation of uh, Yahweh of Israel, you know, we are in the time of uh, speaking through the words of Yahweh of Israel, you know. Ecclesiastes 6, 3 and verse 8 in a time to love, right? So we are in the time of love coming back into the good grace and mercies of Yahweh of Israel and us coming back to being the children of Israel, you know, coming back in our lot as being the sons and daughters of Yahweh of Israel through this wisdom and knowledge and understanding in the sight of Yahweh of Israel in a time of hate, right? We're living in a time of hate as well, too. Just like it says in uh, Matthew 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You know, seditions, uprises, uproars, and people in the world. And that's what we're seeing, Joel 3 and 9, in full effect right now as we speak. And the time of war, right? We're living in a time of war. So, Joel, the third chapter, verse 9 to verse 10, is in progress as we speak. Right along with the uh, Revelations 11 to verse 14. The second woe pass, behold, the third woe coming quickly. And a time of peace, right? So we are in a uh, slowly increasing processings of us being in the peace of Yahweh of Israel through his wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Uh, continually, increasingly uh, in the processing more and more, coming back to who we actually are as being the sons and daughters of Yahweh of Israel, you know. Because, you know, everything's a balance, like I mentioned before. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verse 1 and through verse 8. And that was the title of the sit-down lesson. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh of Israel. Shalom to the uh, elders. And until next time, I will say Shalom.